Happy birthday, Scorpio. Happy birthday to all Scorpios. If you are a Scorpio born on October 30th, this message is for you. If you are a Scorpio and you are not born on October 30th, I encourage you to stick around. Maybe you'll find a message for you. All right. Scorpio is born October 30th. We're going to do a quick uh, mini career finance reading, general and love reading. So let's see what overall energies is surrounding Scorpio is born October 30th. On the crack. Scorpio's more October 30th. Why you keep giving to this bullshit? That's that's what I'm like. Why you keep giving to this bullshit? It's toxic. It is not yielding you anything. It's keeping you stagnant, stuck in place. This is not fair to you. And some of y'all don't want to cap on one. Okay. One good shuffle for Scorpio's born October 30th. I hope you about to write this wrong. That's what this is about. Spirit, what messages do you have for Scorpios born on October 30th? Please and thank you. Your overall energy, good. <laughs> it's justice, justice. So wrongs will be made right here. But when I saw that devil energy, there's some karma in this for somebody. Okay. So um, spirit is on it. Wrongs will be made right, whether you're on the high vibrational side of things or the low vibrational side of things. Justice is here. For your general energy, Scorpio, you have the Seven of Cups, the Seven of Cups. So I see you're very confused. I feel like you've been in this period of wait. You're afraid. I got two sevens down here because the Seven of Pentacles is here. And then it's like, you like, how long do I have to wait? See all this wait before a decision is made. Before we come back together, um, I don't know what happened here, but you're confused. It's like, how long, I mean, but how long do I have to wait? Um, so this is what your career and finance. So let's see why, why this is here. Why is the Seven of Cups here for Scorpios born October 30th? Scorpio, you got a bunch of distractions around you. The people you spend the most time with shape who you are. So you around these people that bring all this confusion. Okay? They make you wait. I don't know if you depended upon them for something in relation to your career and finance. But it's like whoever these people are, they don't have your best interests in mind. The past and animals. I feel like you need to use your instincts because this is in relation to something from the past. It's screaming at you. I'm looking at that gramophone, something screaming at you. There's an offer being made to you. You need to listen to your intuition um, to help you. But whatever this is, it's unethical. So be careful of scammers right now. Somebody not doing something the right way. And there's somebody around you and they offering to give you some assistance and it ain't the right kind of assistance. I'm just being honest with you. And the way that Scorpio card just fell, it might really uh, tear things apart for you. So why are you, what message you have for Scorpio regarding career and finance born October 30th? The people you spend the most time with shape who you are. Why is this here? Mm. Yeah. Um, cause it's something with karma here because fate is at the bottom and spirit like stop it right now before you have a great financial loss offer of somebody that's promising promising you something to come into you to join forces with you they telling you they're going to make something right I don't know if you have a romantic offer but it almost feels like you're being bullied into this and I'm telling you later you're going to be angry when you look into this and find out that shit has ended. I'm just being honest with you. So you need to do what's best for you. What is it that you envision for you? And plant those seeds for yourself to avoid this nightmare, okay? Because somebody is trying to guide you here in the work, okay? But somebody's looking into you, Scorpio. They're looking into you. It's like you're being investigated. And I see you afraid because it's something with this friend group that you've been pouring into and they be get, they've been giving you these ideas, but now they gone. Now they gone. So it's like whoever these people were that you were spending time with, you know, they was giving you all this advice and then that you need them, you, you know, they're gone. You're alone. It's like, you know, you feel separate. So, you know, please pay attention to this. 
Let's see what general energies of Saranda Scorpio is born October 30th. Please and thank you. What general energies are Saranda Scorpio spirit born on October 30th? Please and thank you. Scorpio, your overall general energy is the lovers, the lovers. So maybe you're part of a third party situation. Maybe this is involved in some contractual agreement, but um, there's some distance here. There is a lot of love. You have the Eight of Wands, the Eight of Wands. So you might be receiving a lot of communication coming into you from a Gemini or an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Somebody wants something to move very quickly. They want it to move very quickly. Spirit, what do Scorpios born October 30th need to know about this Eight of Wands? What the Scorp... Well, damn. You taking with Flip. You taking what Flip? And you got three to Flip. Let it out, let it flow, spend time on you, balance yourself, trust in, the new, in your new path, all will work out for you. So I feel like there's a new um, contract agreement or a new lover coming in for you, and I feel like you need to speak your truth. Whatever that is, let it out, let it flow. And but be open to embrace whatever this is, Scorpio. Um, get yourself into alignment, spend time on you, take great care for you with you, see yourself with a new set of eyes, is what I'm hearing, and trust in your new path. All will work out for you. Because something is gonna work out for you. Okay, you just gotta trust it. And I feel like this is a little um dependent upon these previous energies with career and finance. You need to get away from the these people you've been drinking with these people partying with these people and i don't know what's coming up i don't know if y'all going to happy hour or some shit but whatever's coming up in these communications they don't have the best your best interests at heart at the bottom of the deck let go of a fixed plan because i'm telling you you're about to find yourself under investigation allow for spontaneity and growth let go of a fixed plan that's at the bottom Okay, so you need to be true to yourself and don't be letting people coerce you and convince you to do something that is not good for you. Spirit, why are you telling Scorpio, let it out, let it flow, spend time on themselves and trusting in the path? Why are you telling Scorpio is born? Oh, there we go. Unicorn, indulge your creative, imaginative, and magical side through some form of artistic expression. Because Scorpio, I feel like you have a lot of communication coming into you. Somebody wants something you have, okay? And I feel like you have some untapped skill set here. And, and I don't know if you're scared, but you're talking to the wrong damn people. At the bottom of the deck, you have blue heron. Make a stand for what you believe in and do what feels right in spite of any judgment and disapproval, i.e. these people over here to the left. Okay, because it's like something here where you're being influenced, okay, and you need to do what's best for you because when the shit hit the fan, because I feel like this predictive, these people are going to disappear on you and you'll know if this message is for you. Spirit, what messages do you have for Scorpios born October 30th in relation to their love life? Please and thank you. What messages do you have for Scorpios born October 30th in relation to their love life? Spirit, please and thank you. Your overall energy for your love life is the Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands. I see a difficult situation about to come to a close. This was a heavy load. I mean, you've been carrying a lot. Yeah. You have the four swords, the four swords. So this has not gotten past you. You're thinking about this. Okay, a blessing is being bestowed upon you. Scorpio, you already know the truth. You already know the truth. And you need to take a break from this group. I feel like to keep giving to whatever this is, it's hard. You need to put your walls up. They already don't hurt you. You just need to understand. And when it comes to whatever's going on in your home, your stability, your marriage, or your commitment, you need to keep it to yourself. Because whatever's going on is exciting a lot of drama. And you need to move past this. Or you won't have a shocking revelation. Because somebody coming in to compromise with you. They're going to want to talk to you. And I feel like this is more investigative. And you're going to be disappointed. Because you're going to find out you've been manipulated. And it's going to shift your karmic. Okay. Because I'm telling you there's karmic here. There's karmic here. Okay. So, you know, be careful with that. Let's see why the four swords is here in your love energy.
Spirit, why is the four swords here in Scorpio's born October 30th? Love energies. Why is, you have seek, seek. I feel like you need to you need to seek the truth for yourself. I feel like you need to spend some time alone to contemplate, meditate, pray, pray. I feel like you already know the truth. I do. And there's some changes here. And it's uncomfortable, right? And seek the truth. And I feel like, I'm telling you, it's an investigation on somebody shining a light on this truth. They're going to bring everybody together. This could be in a relationship, love, partnership. But I'm telling you, it's somebody's darkest fears that you find yourself because you have some new beginning here, Scorpio, in love. It's a new beginning in love. Opportunity is beckoning. It's calling you. Okay? And I feel like it's some past energy here holding you back. What are you telling Scorpio to seek? Because this is like the hermit energy. Something's doing with a Virgo. Spirit is saying that um, you, okay, somebody only want intimacy or sexual connection with you. And Spirit is saying you need to look into this and move on and move on. Because with Mercury retrograde, there's some communication issues here, Scorpio. With a Pisces cancer, another Scorpio. Um, and with this uh, date night. Somebody could have been having tr car troubles, um, electronic issues with their car, okay? But it's communication, it's everything. Something happened with this date, okay? Spirit is saying that um, you, you, with these challenges, no, there's no challenges with an air sign. So if you're dealing with an Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy, there's no, ch no challenges. However, you need to let go of a gold digger and be careful. Because I feel like it's an Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy here telling you everything okay. But every time you turn around, they want something from you. They want something from you. So, let, let's get some messages. Spirit, what do you want? Because Spirit, like, you need to do some soul searching. Look into this. What is it you really want? Because somebody cannot make you happy here. Man, more messages for Scorpio. In, um, Scorpio is born October 30th in relation to intimacy and move on. Somebody does not know where to start. They can't make you happy. They might have addictions with drug and alcohol. Okay, they do want to be a different person. They wish they could be a different person. Child, those two different cards. I just want you to know. Okay, and then, but they want out. Whoever, and, and you need to look into this. You need to look into this because this person isn't for you. Okay, but you over here talking about, I don't want to be alone. Why can't I move on from this from this person? Maybe you wanted to wait for them or you, or you wanted them to wait for you. But either way, this this is unhealthy. What advice do you have for Scorpios born October 30th? Spirit, please and thank you. What advice do you have for Scorpios born on October 30th? Spirit is saying that somebody's going to tell you they're ready to make a change. But again, this is karmic. It's a karmic cycle. You keep going through this loop. And this is why Spirit wants you to look into this and practice self-love. Get yourself into alignment. Don't worry about nobody else. And then you'll find that you're going to change your mind about this person and let their ass go. Spirit wants you to focus on your success. Because there's some outside influences here that you need to set better boundaries with. Somebody wants to spend time with you. They are coming back from the past. But do not let this love blind you because it looks like they want something out of you. But until you get your confidence up and understand who you are truly on the inside, you're going to keep experiencing lack of confidence going through this karmic cycle, um, taking this person back. Somebody is asked you out on a date, and I saw that earlier, and then they didn't call you when it came time for the date. So Scorpio Spirit is trying to prepare you for a union, but you over here suffering in silence instead of manifesting what you want. And I don't know who the hell you stalking online, and you need to realize it's not love, it's just a factuation. Okay, so there's a tempting offer, but it has a high price. And it's potential, but it needs work. But I'm telling you, it's a secret admirer here. Somebody secretly just trying to score with you, but you like where the trust be rebuilt. You don't even know the answers. And I'm telling you, you really, 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 Scorpios, born October 30th, need to look into yourself, 
You need to free yourself from these people that don't mean you any damn good and trust that you got a new path here. But this path will not forge itself until you make things right within yourself. And if you don't, the universe is on it. And I saw that tower card, so please be careful. Scorpios born October 30th and all Scorpios around. Happy birthday, and I do love you.